If you guys haven't been up to date to the recent videos, you guys may have missed us throwing the TE37s on the WRX. As you can see, we finally threw them on the car and they look absolutely amazing. Literally love the turnout so much. The front sit pretty low, almost fender to lip. I'm pretty happy with how they sit right now, honestly. But the rears, on the other hand, I feel like these can go much lower. So today we're gonna be doing some work in the rear, try to get this thing lower in the rear, possibly tucking. I kind of want to tuck the rears because I feel like this is not as low as I want it to be. Literally, it's just like a finger gap. So really want to close out this gap. Still looks good regardless coming out so good and what do you guys think of the new wheels guys Got the matching fit and everything. <laughs> Got the merch. Blue Crocs. <laughs> Last Friday, we actually had a brand new merch shop on board to supply with new t-shirts and hoodies. I'm actually wearing the new t-shirt right now. It is the Garmin Dyed Baby Blue new shirt that we just came out with. And this right here is the brand new hoodie. Uh, it's kind of like an off-white color, like a bone color. By far my favorite design and drop yet. I just love the color so much. This is more of like a summer vibe type of drop. We got more cruising, less stress on the back. No problems, just a moment. Borgia Supply 2021. And on the front, we got the same thing on the hoodie and the t-shirts. We got the same design, more cruising, less stress on the top left chest. This job goes out to all the car guys out there. You know, just taking the car out on a cruise and just literally forgetting about everything. I don't know how to explain it. It's just more of like therapy to us. So that's why I came out with more cruising, less stress for this job. Sometimes we just gotta take the car out go on a cruise and just forget about everything literally so if you guys want to continue to support the channel i'll have the link down in the description below it'll be the first link in the description thank you guys so much to all you guys who have already placed an order this past weekend but yeah with that being said we have to throw these parts on the wx so let's go ahead and continue on this install these are the varus engineering slash ft86 speed factory toe arms for the wx as well as the super sick Cusco lower control arms for the rear end. I get all my parts from CB Speed, so I'll go ahead and put a link down in the description below, as well as my discount code to save you guys 10% off, a little bit of money off your order on either Subi Speed or FT86 Speed Factory. But yeah, various parts, Cusco parts, super excited. They're so nice. Like I cannot, I don't even want to throw these in the car. These things look so clean and nice. But yeah, guys, these parts should definitely tuck in the rears a little bit. I've been kind of debating, and I know I've mentioned it in a previous video on camera this car just like the FRS but I've kind of decided I want to keep it a little bit simple I might leave the fronts as they are and I just want to tuck in the rears a little bit so like a little bit of camber not too much kind of best of both worlds since the FRS is like cambered out like crazy and I think this one's gonna stay just like a little simple and clean setup so a little bit of camber in the rear not too much doesn't hurt <laughs> I feel like I've been talking for too long let's go ahead and start on this <laughs> Just got done tightening up some stuff on the fronts, just making sure everything is tight, making sure my camber is even on both sides as well. Before we put the wheel on, we actually have the stock ugly lug nuts that come with the car. So we actually got some replacements in the mail a few days ago. We got them off of Amazon. I have the link as well in the description. I always, always, always run these Muteki SR48 lug nuts. These are actually the same ones that I have on the FRS. So since we're putting the wheels back on, we're gonna go ahead and throw on those new lug nuts with the new wheels. Small details, but it looks super good. Nice and simple, completes the look.
Tabasco Blue looks super fresh. Nice little contrast between the red bags. And then also, we installed the various toe arms. Just trying to figure out how to do it. Uh, it came with a lot of like different bags of hardware, but we ended up figuring out there's a lot of pieces that go into that. At the end, it's pretty simple. Got the toe arms as well as the LCAs on the left side. I'm gonna move on to the passenger side of the car, but I'll go ahead and throw you guys on a time lapse for that side. It's like, um, it's a little slanted. I want to say negative four. Negative four? Hey, man. Easy. Let me see. Oh, shit. That's a lot. Yeah, from this angle, it's kind of a lot. It's good for your car. It's good know. for your axles. I don't know what to say. It's healthy. It's, for the it's not healthy. <laughs> <laughs> you see? You see this? safer than uh, normal size. So de-beating is safe. They air it out in the air. Hopefully we're not rubbing on the fender. I'm gonna jack the wheel up. Oh, I see. And okay. we'll see how it is. Easy. Nice. We're clearing for sure. Oh. Um, like that is just enough. That's aired out. Yeah. Damn. That's kind of a lot, though. <laughs> Bro. I think that's like negative. That's like negative seven. No way. Yeah. Really? I think this is a little bit too much for what we're trying to go for in this car. This is like FRS status, honestly. And. I don't know, it would look really good if I had the fronts chambered a lot, but <laughs> I think we're gonna pull a little bit out, so we can, I don't know. I just think it looks weird if there's a lot in the rear and like none in the front. We're just gonna take probably like a few degrees off of the back. Then we'll see how that looks. are just like this bothering me so much <laughs> today we're actually gonna get an alignment right now over at rta uh kind of down the street from the house so we're gonna go get an alignment right now fix this camber try to make it look somewhat even and better in my opinion and then uh we'll see how it looks shop goals right here ultimate shop goals imagine having a shop like this damn it is so sick Looking like a monster truck <laughs> it's all here though Chick-fil-A. I honestly cannot get enough of this place. Like I'd be going here like multiple times a week, at least three times I wanna say. I think I've broken a record too. I've been here like, I think it was three days in a row one time. It was crazy. Big chilling right now. The Chick-fil-A Mac, <laughs> always a must. But yeah, we got Jason with us. Like you guys saw, we just got the car aligned. It's looking super good. Got that nice fender to lip. I know the ground's kind of off right now, so that's why it kind of looks higher in the back. But, car's looking extra clean. What do you guys think down in the comment section below of the fitment of the WX? Super close. Oh, 
tuckage. A little tuckage. <laughs> it's just because the ground is off, but it looks freaking sick. <laughs> you do a collab with Chick-fil-A. A collab with Chick-fil-A? It freaking matches the car. The sticker too. Damn. <laughs> That's sick. Just real quick, we wanted to show you guys what the car looks like after the fresh alignment we just got. And we got plenty of more coming for the front end. After this right now, we're actually gonna go home and install something new on the WRX, so. It is honestly a car part that you guys have been asking me to do for so long to like literally complete the whole look of the car, so. If you guys know what I'm talking about, leave it down in the comment section below. I'll give you a little hint on what it's going to be. That's all I'm gonna do. <laughs> a lot of you guys have been asking for it, so I'm so excited to finally throw it on the car. Guys, so for the past week, I wanna say, I've been really thinking about this like I've been seeing the new 86s and the new BRZs and honestly I want one so bad I know a lot of you guys have been messaging me as well I'm um, asking my opinion on the new BRZ and the 86 if you guys don't know what I'm talking about it's the new 2022 86 and the super BRZ completely changed the whole look has a bigger motor um, and honestly I want one so bad I feel like it's so cool I feel like it'll be just another opportunity to kind of like start fresh on a FRS I know in the previous videos I've been mentioning how I want to get another FRS to like start fresh because um, like over the years you know we learned so much and we have a different perspective I guess you can say over the car after like learning about it and building it so like I said I've been wanting to build another FRS but since we have the new ones coming out, I feel like that'll be awesome to get a new one. <sighs> I don't know, help me out guys. Let me know down in the comment section below. Should I get a new 2022 BRZ or 86? Now another question was, do I get one after I'm done building the WRX? Like completely trading the WRX for that car? Or should I keep both? That's another question I've been contemplating. So, I don't know guys, you guys help me out. Now I assume the new ones are starting to come in probably late this year, probably like November, December. So it's quite a bit of time from now. It's what, like three, was it? August, August, September, October, November. Three to four months around there. So I don't know. I've been thinking about it a lot. It's literally been on my mind like all day, um, 24 seven. But yeah, I just wanna see what you guys think. So I thought that'd be so awesome uh, to completely start over new, especially with the new platform. I know they've been mentioning a lot about, about those cars leaning towards like the aftermarket community and um, that especially Toyota talking about like they're super excited to see what the aftermarket scene does to it. So that just shows those cars are going to be like crazy. The aftermarket scene is going to be huge for those cars. So I'm going to keep looking into it, keep thinking about it. And um, yeah, guys, we might just get a new 2022 Beers Year 86. <laughs> so the other day I was scrolling on Instagram and uh, I came across this post. Uh, which is I don't know I save a lot of these like motivational inspirational quotes on my Instagram Like I have a whole bunch right here. This one right here says people do not decide their futures They decide their habits and their habits decide their futures this one right here I felt like it was like spot-on and I don't know I just love those quotes that just make you think and get you going It's true like a lot of us think about like what we're gonna do in the future and like, you know, what's gonna happen um, like, you know what are we gonna be in a few years? I feel like if you really want a good future and you wanna be successful, I feel like you have to make those baby steps and do like good things to make that happen. So if you wanna be a YouTuber, if you wanna make videos, uh, if you wanna have a clothing brand, you know, sitting around, waiting around for that to happen is not going to make it happen, but doing things in order to make that happen is gonna make the biggest impact, so. You know, getting in the habit of, I don't know, researching or learning more about it, habit of just making videos, getting in the habit about learning about business, getting in the habit of trying new things. I feel like those things are the things that are gonna decide your future and get you going. Versus, you know, sitting around being scared to try it out, waiting around and not really making steps to try to make it happen. All in all, it's your choice. Your future is in your hands. Your daily habits are the ones that decide on if it's gonna happen or not. So key point from this post right here, every day, try to be 1% better than the day before. That's like a huge thing I try to do, is um, when you go to sleep at night, try to reflect back on your day and ask yourself, you know, did I do something, did I do something good today? Did I do something that will help me grow tomorrow? You know, those small baby steps, those small 1% days are the ones that are just gonna build up over time and um, get you that success. So I guess that's what we can conclude with today's video. I know before I mentioned a lot of these in the videos, like at the very end, and I kind of want to get in the habit of it because 
when I do repost stuff like this on Instagram, a lot of people like reach back to me and they're like, dude, I needed this. So, so I just feel like if I bring this up more, it'll help more of you guys. So with that being said, make it a good one today. Get in the habit of trying to do better each and every single day, at least 1%. And in doing that, it'll get yourself ahead of a lot of people that haven't done anything. So, so that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys all have a good one. Make it a good one. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.